Hi guys, it's Shalva from Life is No Yoke. We are here in Solon, Ohio with Michelle at the Vitamix store, and she's gonna show us how to make a holiday cranberry chutney. Nope. Yeah. Relish. Well, either way, all those <laughs> things work great. We're I like sweet. the word chutney. There you go. We we are so excited to have you guys out here, and I really wanted to do this recipe with you because this is one that I use around the holidays all the time. Okay. It's so easy to do. Um, I'm doing a smaller batch, so I'm going to go ahead and use the new 48 ounce container that with the ascent. But um, I do this in a much bigger batch around right around Thanksgiving because you'll see we're going to do it as an appetizer today. But I love having leftovers of this because it's great on like a turkey sandwich the day after Thanksgiving or really anything you would use a regular cranberry sauce for. Perfect. So anyway, you definitely want leftover cranberry sauce. Always, <laughs> always. And if it's gone, you have to make more. Absolutely. So this is one of our favorites. So we're going to follow a lot of the same basic loading tips that we always talk to you about. So okay. we want to put down on the bottom whatever's going to liquefy quickest, which in this case is a peeled orange, and you know my saying about the peeling your citrus. Have I ever told you this before? No. Oh, okay. Just because you can blend it doesn't mean that you should. Because <laughs> think of all the I like that. Yeah. Just think of all the flavor you get from like a teaspoon of like lemon zest. Yes. Can you imagine if you left the entire peel on the lemon or on an orange or on a lime? That makes sense. Yeah. The amount of sugar that you would have to do to compensate for the ease of not peeling it, not worth it. True. So we're going to We do ahead. leave a little peel on our lemon if it's a small... If it's a slice, yeah. right. But, but if, I you're would doing half, if you're doing half a lemon, and I always talk about that I did that when I was making strawberry lime sorbet for the first time and mm -hmm. forgot to peel the lime. It was Ooh, not editable. Lime, I don't think we do no. appeal very often. So since that's going to create my liquid base, we're going to go mm -hmm. ahead and put that down first. I've got a little bit of sugar. You can certainly use any sweetener that, that you're comfortable with. Um, like I said, I like adding a little bit of sugar to this because I'm actually going to use some fresh cranberries, which are pretty which tart. Are tart. Yeah. And so, this is an appetizer for a holiday dish. Exactly. Like using a little sugar. If you're and making this for yourself for a healthy meal, like obviously you wouldn't add as much sugar but for this for it's this it's great the recipe calls for frozen cranberries i'm gonna go ahead and use fresh just because we're in season right now They're so why not yeah. yeah and i always tell people in this particular recipe your frozen to fresh ratio stays the same okay perfect so and then we've got a little bit of walnuts could be any nut or you could omit depending on what you want to do i actually like the texture it gives here and here I have one chopped up apple. Uh, we used a gala. I like to use something that's a little on the sweeter side, but okay. use whatever your favorite is. And I always point out that we leave the stem. I was noticing that. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask about only it. Only part of the apple that we throw away is the, the uh, seeds. The seeds. Okay. Again, just because you can't blend it doesn't mean you should because they contain arsenic. So I read that the other day and I was like, oh, we should stop eating those then. Yeah. The recipe calls for this to be turned on and taken on a one and then take to variable four. Okay. I'm going to tell you that I want on um, the way we're going to serve it right now on top of the cream cheese i like it to stay a little chunkier because okay. i think it's prettier so i'm only going to take it to three totally your own personal preference so that's what's great about this machine is that you can really kind of you got control the the texture and that's why Absolutely. people sometimes are like scared of using the tamper oh but my god it's, it's the, the best yeah. part it's the best part of the whole thing yes. and it's this collar on top that's going to allow me to push these ingredients down there and it's going to be blending slow enough that it's not going to liquefy and you know when to stop it for the texture that you want and you can't overdo it when it's moving slowly like that because the worst thing that you could do is make a cranberry soup right now. Right. And people are scared of doing that to themselves. Well, and I always tell people too that it's like the timers are there as a convenience factor, but right. in the end, you're driving the car. You're just watching. <laughs> when you're when you see that it's done, you know, it, it's it's just a, a timer. That's all it is. So you need to be the one to be in control to get the kind of right. uh, uh, finish that you want. And so you can see through the container, which is so awesome. <laughs> Wait, I didn't point out my new favorite thing about the new Ascent series. This is so silly, but I have to point it out. <laughs> is the new way that the lid attaches because you hear it click. you know that you're there because like well, a problem before is like sometimes people would put their lid on crooked and they wouldn't push it down all the way and then they go to use their tamper and everything's wiggling around so now i know that my lid is securely on and that there's no way that tamper is hitting the blade if the lid is on correctly That's correct it is physically impossible <laughs> for the tamper to hit the blade if the lid is on correctly Not well, let us know if you it. do we'll be really <laughs> impressed <laughs> anyways all right so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on i'm gonna take it to that three Oops, sorry, I'm doing this backwards today. There we go. Blending backwards is an art. I yeah, hope that everyone is. that watches these videos understands. I'm just going to go ahead and push that out down in. It's already pretty. Yep. It doesn't take much, and which is one thing that's nice when you're entertaining during the holidays. Beautiful. Now, I probably could have 
I got one or two pieces here, but you see I've got this really great texture. Yep. And it smells good. I know. And then you just spoon this on top of the... And if I wanted it more liquid, I would just run it on that four instead, and I would run it a little bit longer, but I love the way it looks with that chunkiness. Yeah. And those big pieces of cranberry. It's such a beautiful color for like a Thanksgiving meal. For sure. And people, I mean, we do this here in the store and people just like, will eat it with a spoon. Lick it off. Yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of a thing. So she's serving this on top of a brick of cream cheese, which is a really easy appetizer, obviously. Yeah. Crackers, cream cheese, and a relish. Um, Lenny doesn't eat dairy, so I would serve this maybe on um, the like vegan cream cheese that we make, which is really easy. Make it with cashews. You don't even need to because you could just do this with the Triscuit or something like yep. that. I mean, so, I like the Triscuit because it holds up because if it, especially if you take it a little bit more liquidy, then it, you want it's heavy. a little wetter. You want a heavier cracker that's not going to get saturated. It looks like it's delicious enough to eat just on a cracker without the extra cheese, but the, the cream cheese does look kind of delicious as well. Yes, thank you. Oh, we have sample spoons here. Aren't we fancy? Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very, very good. It's a great one. It's really tasty. I think it's a good one for your customers to add to their repertoire. It's one that we pull out this time of year every year. And I think that took you a minute and a half to make from start to finish. Exactly. So even if people are already at your house, this is something I feel like you could make because you're oh. not turning it all the way up and there's yeah, it was nice it barely it was made quiet. any sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which it's so quick and easy. I think, yeah, this is an awesome holiday appetizer. So easy, easy. Using the ascent with the 48 ounce, obviously you could use the bigger container if you For were to sure. make more. Yeah, and, and, and I, I, when I'm doing it, sometimes I'll like, and you can, you don't always have to 100% double the recipe. Sometimes I'll bump it up and use two apples mm -hmm. instead of one. So don't feel that you have to totally double. double. You can kind of play with it. It's a, as I say with all our recipes, it's a template for whatever you want to create. Go ahead and feel free to get in there and experiment a little bit. But. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you could kind of edit in that based on your taste more sugar for less sure. sugar for you could sure. add a little kick to that oh my god um, you could put a little great. jalapeno in there i think would taste really really good <laughs> just kick it up a notch um but this is an awesome appetizer for the holidays so go make yourself some cranberry apple chutney yeah mm -hmm. new scent. cool thanks for watching thanks for watching guys <laughs>